Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Well, the Bishop's Celebration of Catholic Schools, this has become a, a, an annual event that unites the entire Diocese of Des Moines in a celebration of life-changing impact of faith-centered ed- education uh, that has been provided for more than 150 years. Each year during this event, the diocese recognizes special educators, administrators, volunteers, and their impact on Catholic schools. And uh, the uh, theme for this year's Celebration of Catholic Schools is um, Encounter. Friendship and Communion. Uh, St. Francis of Assisi is hosting the event, if, uh, and I know there are some tickets still available. And uh, it, the, the event will begin with Mass at 4.30 p.m. There will be a 5.30 p.m. A social hour and dinner and award ceremony at 6.30. And uh, fresh off of the, uh, the, the Olympics, uh, the uh, Schweizer family is going to be the, the keynote speakers. And Carissa Schweizer competed in uh, two separate events at uh, the recently completed uh, Summer Olympic Games. But uh, it's, it's just a great uh, opportunity to, to celebrate uh, all things uh, Catholic education. That's one of the things we're going to be highlighting during our fall fundraiser as well. So right now, let's welcome into the show Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Diocese of Des Moines, Donna Bishop. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. Well, thanks for taking time to join us. Uh, this is a, a you know an exciting event. And, and first, tell us, I would say, what where did this idea uh, to uh, to highlight Catholic schools come up with in and get started? Well, you know, every year we have um, milestone anniversaries for our five year through forty five year of teachers in our Catholic education. Uh, so those milestone anniversaries uh, this year. Um, will be highlighted in regards to um, over 113 uh, individuals that have dedicated 1,595 years in Catholic education wow. to our students. Yeah, it's quite impressive. And so, you know, we wanted to, we, we acknowledge them uh, during Catholic Schools Week, but we wanted everyone to know about them. Um, and then we wanted to know uh, others to know about our fabulous administrators, our teachers, and our volunteers that make you know Catholic education possible. So um, taking all of that, and we, we talk about it being not only a fundraising event, but it's a friend raising event. Uh, we have so many um, individuals across our 23 counties in Southwest Iowa that make up our 16. Uh, Catholic schools, and so we wanted to get everyone together um, and celebrate all the accomplishments they do year after year in Catholic education. Well, you talked about already some of the uh, some of the people that will be recognized at, at this event. Uh, of course, the keynote speakers are, you know, I think are a, a well known name. But let's let's give some uh, some publicity to uh, maybe those lesser known, right? The, the some of those who may be behind the scenes and, and are in doing the, maybe some of the thankless work that you guys will be recognizing, including the uh, administrator of the year, teacher of the year. Are, are you able to announce those, or are those uh, sort of going to be uh, unveiled and surprised on uh, on Saturday night? No, we actually announced them during the previous year, so they get cel- they are celebrated throughout the entire year um, during Catholic Schools Week. And so we're going to start off this year um, uh, with uh, the evening with Ann Anderson from Shelby County Catholic. Uh, Ann Anderson has dedicated 30 years to Catholic education, and the last 13 of those years has been as the administrator for Shelby County Catholic offering a preschool through fifth grade um, Catholic education in the Harlan area. Then we move into Jane Brown, and Jane has spent 39 years in Catholic education, with 38 of those at St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. Uh, So a very, um, an ability to connect with students and uh, in all of the nominations that came through, that was highlighted. You know, she could... She knew every student, she knew every family, and so a lot of nominations came through from past um, students, from parents, so um, Jane's a very well-known individual in in the classrooms and the hallways at St. Augustine. Mm. And, uh, and then we, yeah, I was going to say, you highlight the, I was going to say, that, first of all, I want to say, I, I imagine trying to decide uh, that the teacher of the year was probably quite difficult because I, I know there's probably many beloved and, and impactful teachers that uh, have served the Catholic schools here in Des Moines. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are extremely blessed with the best 
educators um, and leaders in our school. So, as well as the volunteers, we couldn't continue to run uh, our schools and our parishes without you know the devoted volunteers that put hours and hours in genuine dedication um, into our parish and school. And I see Megan Klusner is going to be uh, recognized from uh, Sacred Heart, right, as a volunteer of the year? Yes, she is. So that, um, you know, that first nomination came through um, from the parish priest, you know. So uh, Father Chris just said, you know, she's everywhere. She's not only in our school, she's um, dedicating time to the parish and anything and everything that's asked or not even asked, and she just does it. And then the uh, the, the Purdom family uh, as well being recognized, and I know they're uh, friends of the station here, and it's just very impactful on the uh, Catholic community at large, but you guys will be recognizing them for their impact uh, on Catholic education. Talk about them a little yeah. bit. Dennis and Connie, you know, Connie's a hoot. You know, she was said, he is what he is today because she converted him to being a Catholic. So, yeah, they are extremely dedicated to um, the school and, and, and the parish. So uh, very blessed to have Dennis and, and Connie being such advocates, uh, not only in the, um, the school in Preston, but in the parish, um, as well as the diocese. You know, Dennis is very um, involved in the Diocese of Des Moines as well. And uh, you, you mentioned here uh, Frank Hardy in, the, uh, in, your, in your notes, and uh, what would you like to say about Frank? Oh, what can't you say about Frank? <laughs> He's devoted four decades to Catholic education, to the Diocese of Des Moines, and he's been involved in as board members at not only Holy Family, but Dowling, uh, founding trustee at, at St. Francis, um, building commissioner for the diocese, Knights of Columbus member since 1984. Um, you can go on and on. I, I, I say it, and I've been, this is my sixth year at the Diocese of Des Moines. We couldn't be doing Catholic education uh, without the guidance of Frank Hardy. Well, and you have uh, a bishop uh, in our Bishop William Johnson, a, uh, just a champion of, of the work that uh, that you do and all of those who are involved with Catholic education. Uh, I know there are, are tickets still available, um, and this is, as you said, a fundraising uh, as well as friend raising, and just a celebration, as we've highlighted here, uh, those who have put uh, so much into providing Catholic education. Uh, we'll have you on again to talk, highlight some of the things that the Des Moines Diocese is doing. But let's just let's speak real quick to, about this event specifically that will have the, the Schweizer family as, as keynote speakers. Uh, tickets are still available. How can people, uh, you know, attend the event? Yeah, they can give us a call at the diocese. Give me a call at 515-237-5040. Tickets are available. We currently have 33 tables filled. Um, a little under 300, but we can get more in the room um, at St. Francis. So we'd love to have you, starting with the Mass at 430 at St. Francis in West Des Moines, and then moving into Social Hour, and then we start um, the program and a wonderful dinner uh, being put together by the Knights of Columbus and served by students across the diocese. We have 60 students that will be assisting with the event. Well, that's just fantastic. Donna, thank you so much for your hard work. Like I said, we'll, we'll have you on again real soon And uh, as the school year is uh, getting ready to uh, set, uh, set sail, if you will. Well, what a great way to kind of kick off the year with, uh, with this event, Saturday night, uh, August 24th at St. Francis of Assisi in West Des Moines. Individual tickets are $100. There are tables of eight still available. Uh, if you go right to the Des Moines Diocese website, uh, you can find the uh, all the information under the uh, Bill, uh, Bishop's Celebration of Catholic Schools. And uh, again, Donna, thanks so much for making time and joining us this morning. And uh, have a great school year, and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.